yourself comfortable. Well, my name is Sarah. Uh, is it alright if we go by first names, Mr. Adams? Uh, okay, Rodney. So under law, just so you know, um, this is a completely safe place unless I have reason to think that you or someone else is in danger. Uh, no one will ever know what is said here. So I, I really just want this to be a comfortable place as possible. How are you feeling sitting here right now? Uncomfortable, I guess. The idea of seeing a shrink, it, it always bugged me. And ever since, y you know. Uh, yeah, um, I heard about your last therapist. That's, um, that's really tragic. How are you doing with that? Not good. I... I just can't get visions of what happened to him out of my head. So... You keep on seeing it. Yeah. It's just that vivid. right now, Rodney. Does this happen when you think about it? it? It frightens me. So is there anything else that you feel? It feels like I'm there with him, running for my life. I guess I should feel sad for him. You don't? I just... I, I feel so selfish. Can you tell me about that? I mean, I just... I can't get over what I... I'm only thinking about myself. Does does that make me a bad person? What do you what do you think you lost? Well, you know, he was he's my first. I'm sorry, I'm I'm not following. Your first what? You know, the the first person that I that I that I was vulnerable with. I don't like people knowing my secrets. It was it was great having someone to talk to. It took me a lot to get comfortable with him. I had troubles dealing with it appropriately. You know what, Ronnie? It took a lot of courage to come here today. I really want to make this a safe place for you to talk, and I want the same relationship between us as you had with your last therapist. Um, I'm really excited for this journey to your healing. I hope it goes better this time. I just don't like people knowing my secrets. It isn't something I 